Hey, what's up everyone? This is Luke and welcome to Luke I'm on TV. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video review of the new movie Everybody Wants Some. Uh, this is the latest film from writer-director Richard Linklater. Uh, in case you're not real familiar with his work, uh, some of his film highlights would include Slacker, Dazed and Confused, Before Sunrise, Waking Life, School of Rock, and Boyhood. Uh, I gotta be real honest, uh, I was really surprised that he was going to do a comedy after Boyhood. Um, really wasn't sure what to expect after that movie. Uh, that was kind of more of like a, a serious type of film. So I really wasn't sure what to expect. So when they, it was announced that the next movie was going to be Everybody Wants Some, and it was a comedy and also supposed to be a spiritual sequel to Days to Confused, I was very surprised. Um, so then they show in the first trailer, and I got to be honest, I wasn't real impressed. Uh, the first images that we see in the trailer is uh, just some dude driving on the highway with my Sharona by the neck cranked. And that didn't set the tone very well, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that song. I never have been. Um, I've always just thought it's kind of a tacky pop rock song. Uh, it, it just so happens to be one of those songs that always seems to, to pop up on those uh, crappy 80s rock compilations and stuff. So... I just wasn't a big fan of that song, and I didn't really like it being used in this uh, trailer. Uh, so I saw that, and I didn't like that. And then I saw more of the trailer, and then I thought, well, I don't know. It looks kind of like a bad parody of Days Confused, to be honest with you. That was kind of like my first impression. So it didn't set the tone very well. I wasn't real impressed. But then I thought, well, it is Richard Linklater, and I, I do... Uh, you know, I, I like his movies, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. So anyway, so then as time went on, as time went on, we saw another trailer, some more clips, and then I started to think, well, actually looks kind of more like American Pie than it does Days to Confuse. So then I got worried again, and I was kind of not so sure. Uh, but then time went on again, and then it was showing at South by Southwest Festival. And then some of the reviews started to trickle in, and people were saying, "No, actually, it's a it's a really good movie. Go see it. You know, don't pay attention to the trailer. It's it's good." So uh, naturally, I was kind of already prepared to go see it anyway. But when I started to hear some good reviews, I thought, "Okay, well, I'm definitely going to go see it, though." Um, so thankfully, um, it was released this past weekend in Minneapolis. So me and my girlfriend went and saw it. So alas, here I am giving you a review. Uh, it is supposed to get a wider release this coming weekend on April 15th, so that's another reason I wanted to do this review. I just kind of want to get my thoughts and opinions out there. I know that there's people out there looking for reviews, so here's one of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this review is, first off, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. Uh, I, I don't want to uh, get too much into the storyline. I don't want to wreck it for you. I want you to see this movie, so I'm not going to give uh, any spoilers away. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to Days Confused a little bit since that's what it's been uh, compared to. It's supposed to be the spiritual sequel. Uh, I'll make a few criticisms here and there, and then eventually I'll give you my final word on the film, what I thought. Um, so just uh, I'll start off by recapping Days Confused. Uh, Days of Confused takes place uh, in one day, which is the last day of uh, high school and junior high in 1976. Uh, there's two main characters. There's Mitch Kramer who uh, him and his buddies are about to uh, graduate from junior high and they're going to be freshmen in high school in the following uh, fall. And then also there's Randy Floyd, him and his uh, football playing buddies, his drug buddies, and then his girlfriend. They're all getting ready to graduate from their junior year of high school and they're going to become seniors in the fall. So you got those two main characters and then all their friends. And then there's also a few other surrounding characters, kind of a mishmash of different people, different personalities. Uh, so uh, I gotta say right away, that's my one of my favorite things that I liked about Days Confused, is that you get a lot of different uh, personalities in the movie. You get a lot of different characters. So um, you see all these people in school, and then you see them after school, and then after school you see them all kind of trickle out into the streets, and they the camera kind of seems to follow them all around where you, you kind of see what they're doing after school, you know, getting into mischief or, uh, you know, getting ready to go out that night or whatever they're getting ready to do. Um, so it's really cool that you get a lot of different variety of people in the movie. Uh, it took place in 1976, so you're getting a, a pretty good feel of the 70s at that point. Um, um, with that being said, there was also a really great soundtrack 
in Days Confused. I really had uh, really liked the soundtrack. Had a great rockin' soundtrack. Um, I bought both of the CDs that were released for that movie. Um, uh, really great soundtrack. Um, also, the cars were really great. Uh, a lot of cool muscle cars in that movie. You had a lot of uh, you know Chevelles and Barracudas and El Caminos and all that stuff. So a lot of really cool cars. Uh, and of course, there was some a lot of drinking and drug use in the movie, which was kind of like a highlight for some people too. They really liked that in the movie. So you had all those things combined, and it really just made the movie what it was, which was just basically a lot of fun. Um, so what this movie actually does is instead of taking place over one day, it takes uh, place over the course of several days, which is actually like the last weekend before college starts. And uh, it, and it really just uh, focuses on one main character, Jake, and then also his uh, these new people, these new buddies that he comes to uh, become friends with. Uh, they're all they're supposed to be like on his baseball team in the spring they all meet up for like a fall practice and all that stuff but they're really going to become teammates in the spring so all kind of just getting together they're going to be living in this one house um so it, it they all go out they do all these fun things and they go out to parties and and they go to clubs and stuff and it's a lot of fun and a lot of great times but um it, it's quite a bit different than days confused um and that's kind of like my first real main criticism of the movie is that you know um you know, Days Confused takes place over one day, and you got several different characters. Uh, this movie takes place with uh, several days, and you got really one character. So it's it's really a big difference there. And I did prefer Days Confused in that respect. Uh, and then, uh, as far as the music goes, uh, this movie takes place in 1980, so it's really only four years later um, that it takes place after Days Confused. So. Really, um, you don't really get a good feel of the 80s yet. Um, so you're really still getting that really strong 70s influence, uh, the music and the clothes. So that was my next criticism. You just don't get a real good feel for the 80s yet. Um, I, I kind of really wish that the movie would have taken place more in like 85, 86, or 87. That way you would have get a much better feeling of the 80s, uh, especially regarding the music. And then uh, my next criticism is the cars because, uh, you know, with Days Confused having all the really great, cool muscle cars, you don't get uh, in really any of that in this movie. Um, Jake, the main character, has a really cool car, but um, you don't see much of it in the movie, and then you don't see anybody else really driving any really cool cars either. So um, you really lose that from the movie too. So those, So that doesn't compare in that respect either. So... Um, those are my main gripes and main criticisms with the, comparing the two movies. Um, now, what I did like about this movie is really the characters. I really like the characters. I thought that they're all pretty different from one another, very funny. That was another thing. I thought this movie was very funny. Uh, I actually found myself to... I think I had a smile throughout most of the movie, which was kind of rare for me. I, just, I, I really enjoyed watching this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, and a lot of good humor. Uh, there was a lot of some. There were some memorable quotes, but not quite as memorable as the ones in Days Confused. But uh, you know, it was very fun. Uh, fun movie to watch. I enjoyed it. Um, so uh, that's what I really got to say. I really liked uh, the casting was good. Uh, regarding the characters, you know, I liked the characters in the movie, and I thought the casting was good. Uh, you know, the people that they casted for the movie, I thought were good choices. I thought they fit the characters pretty well. So yeah, that was definitely a plus, and um, but really, I gotta say, uh, some of the criticisms do seem to kind of outweigh the movie a little bit. You know, um, I, I kind of going into the movie, I was kind of already setting myself up to be kind of disappointed. I I knew kind of right away that it, it wasn't gonna quite live up to Days Confused, but knowing that, I kind of just decided to just enjoy it for what it was, and that's pretty much what I ended up doing in the, in at the end of the uh, at the end of the day. I decided well. I, I'm going to enjoy this movie for what it is, and that's exactly what I did. So, And I really did enjoy the movie. So uh, I, I, I am going to probably see it again soon. And um, I want you all to go out and see this movie because I, I, did, I did like it a lot. So um, this has been my review for Everybody Wants Some. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed what you watched, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you next time.